going to go car hunting. Let's go see what we can find today. Alright guys, so we came up here about a month ago and the gentleman that owns this also owns a couple other car places here and uh, they had this Cougar here. So they, I think he owns the Cougar. So we're just going to take some videos, can't really touch it, I don't, and then we'll go and find out the information for the gentleman that owns it. We could stop because they're down there. And there's also that car over there. So welcome to another episode of Junkyards and Barn Finds with Sean and I'm Sean. Uh, there's also a uh, first generation Firebird here. So this last on the road in 2006. It's a Mercury Cougar. I think it's a 70. It's either a 69 or a 70. And it's your standard Cougar. Obviously, there's a lot of parts. There's there's just junk on the inside. The roof is totally wasted from having a, a vinyl roof on it. It does have the original poverty caps on it. Uh, this looks like a, that looks like the driver's side door right there and it's got the hidden headlights the original headlights let's see so mercury right there let's uh, let's make sure we don't hit snakes okay so that's a spare door body looks in relatively good shape let's see this is it's a bucket seat car no console automatic black interior even has the original a track in it uh, the black interior is about as good a shape as you can see outside here um, just rusting sitting here but body panels are good so it does have good body panels on it and there looks like a spare door here. So you have that one and then there's a lot of stuff here that's new but the other one we want to look at while we're here is this the black firebird here. First generation firebird. Most of the stuff that's here is brand new, so we don't need to look at it. But here is a first-gen Firebird. This one actually looks like people work on it. I don't know if this is something. It says a 400 on it. This has got, obviously, aftermarket rims. Uh, interior, it is got a B&M shifter in it. The dashboard is out, sitting on the seat. This body on here it's pretty good last time this this has no tag on so we don't know when the last time this was we'll ask about it um, but it looks like it's been sitting a while if you look at you can see where the water is coming down there is no well it looks like it had a console maybe it did maybe it didn't I can't tell um, there is an engine in there but I'm not gonna lift this up because I don't know if we can lift it up or allowed to lift it up. The guys here are not the guys that own it. Um, and they don't know who owns it. Uh, there's a hand. There, it looks like it's a it's, it's it's somebody made the console for it. But it's a black interior, black bucket seats, and a lot of stuff's out of it. So the body on it is good. But um, I don't know what the deal is with that one so uh of all these other cars there's an s197 mustang and some stuff in here i don't really see anything else uh i looked through a lot of it mostly new stuff but we have the mercury here and we have the pontiac 
and we're gonna stop and see real quick uh, if they're for sale if parts of them are for sale let's see I really don't see anything else here that is uh, older than um, I don't see anything else everything else is like the 90s and newer so we'll go ahead down there stop and see what's going on Hey guys, if you've never seen, if you've never seen a cotton field, that is what cotton looks like. And they're just all over down here. Down here in South Georgia, there's just tons and tons of cotton. And those are trucks out there getting it, harvesting the cotton. Hey guys, um, I'm here off of, uh, I guess it's Highway 52, um, over here near Landa Lakes, and I'm trying to figure, there's a guy here, it says no trespassing, keep out, so I tried calling the phone number there, because I'm trying to check it out, there's an old dot, a dot, uh, Dodge Swinger, it looks like a Swinger over there, with center lines and stuff on it. And I'm wondering if somebody would come out because I'm just looking over here and there's a whole bunch of fox bodies. That's a right there. There's a Buick. I don't know if it's a Grand Sport, but there must be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There must be 10 fox bodies there. And I don't know if they race them or not or if they're building them or if they're for sale doesn't say anything there but they're in pretty bad shape some of them I'm wondering if the guy's here I'm hoping maybe somebody's here um, I don't know if you know who this is because there's a whole bunch of trucks back there I don't know if the guy builds trucks I don't know if he builds cars I don't know if he's just a hoarder I mean it's not really a hoarder it looks like it's a business but I don't know what kind of business. So anyway, um, but sometimes you, you feel like you can go in there. This one, I'm not so sure because I don't feel like getting shot this morning. Anyway, um, but there's a lot of cars here. And I'm wondering if there's a sign around that maybe I don't see any stang zone um you know what i'm gonna go over there and see if maybe something called the stang zone so i'm thinking maybe mustangs we'll go over there and talk to those guys and see so yeah that's a so that's a dodge swinger i think well we're gonna go into this place called stang zone and see maybe they know who this person is all right guys so i spoke to john next door at the stang place uh which they do make some mustangs in there they were working on some and he said the gentleman who owns this is uh is home so we're gonna go over there and stop in here real quick and I'm gonna see if he's there. There's all the stangs, the fox bodies. So we're just gonna knock and see what he's, what's going on with those and with the swingers. So this is what I saw driving by. You can see there's a couple fox bodies and other stuff in there. stuff in there 
I mean, he said he's here as long as that blue truck is here. So we're gonna go in here and come around to this trailer. He said he hangs out right here. So we're just gonna go in and see. All right, guys, so um, I met the gentleman that owns those cars. He, uh, the Swinger is a thousand horsepower car that he takes to drag races or used to. Uh, him and his son both build cars and paint cars and everything. And um, so the story is at the moment that uh, he's gonna think about letting us come back. And if we do, who can come back, maybe give us story about that uh the dodge the hemi that he has well it's not a hemi well it could be i don't know but um those cars they used to race them so they have a whole bunch of fox body fox bodies there sitting there and um so uh hopefully we'll get it on another episode maybe we can go and talk to him a little bit more i didn't put him on camera um uh, kind of surprised him but anyway um you know, that's something that maybe we can check out another day. It's four miles. April, should they subscribe to this channel even if they don't like cars today for this one? Probably just for this one. Where it says merchandise store right here, merchandise store link, you will see it says HTTPS forward slash junkyards dash bar dash barn dash finds with and you click on that and it's going to take you here.